Welcome to the WAC Basketball Preview Days presented by Hercules Tires. I'm Kendra Sheehan. Dixie State Women's Basketball Program joins us. Head coach J.D. Gustin in his sixth season with the Trailblazers. Shanaysia Davison, senior guard, and Hannah Robinson, senior forward, joins us. Thank you all for being here. Coach, I'm going to start with you playing just three games last year. How ready is this team to come out and play a full slate of games? Yeah, we're bursting at the seams. We, we can't we can't wait. It, it's been a long time. And um, yeah, our kids are just excited and, and um, maybe more so than um, than any team I've been associated with because of the layoff. So we can't wait to get going. Non-conference schedule obviously going to be pretty important to prepare you for this newly revamped WAC league. What do you like about the non-conference game? You've got a Pac-12 opponent in Oregon to get you prepared for conference play. Well, I like the balance of it. I, I really like our schedule. We, we have um, some non-D1 games and, and then some um, mid-major games that we feel like we can be um, competitive in. And then we actually have two Pac-12s, uh, uh, Oregon and, and Colorado. Uh, so it's be fun for our kids to experience that level. But um, overall, I just I really like the balance of our non-conference. Shanaysia, transferring in, what has been the toughest part about adjusting to this new program? Um, I feel like I, I didn't really hit a lot of adversity and I thought that was going to be the biggest thing for me. Um, I came in this program and, you know, the coaches and the players opened their arms. So I think, um, it was very easy for me to adjust and fit into the system very well. How do you anticipate the WAC differing from the conference you're used to? I think it's going to be tough. Um, we're going to be facing some huge teams, um, bigger girls. Um, but overall I'm excited for it. And Hannah, transferring in from Southern Utah, what's been the best part about working with this group of women? I think just the culture here, um, just like Nay said, you know, where you were, you know, um, brought in with open arms and um, it's been the best experience and the best change for me. So. Coach, hearing your players talk about the culture, how important has it been for you as a head coach to establish that culture that welcomes players with open arms? Well, we work pretty hard at it, and we're definitely not perfect in any regard, but we, we work hard at it. We, we, we want our players to know that we care about them. Um, first and foremost, that we're, we're, we're doing our best to give them a great student athlete experience, and then also trying to get them to um, be their very best um, on the floor as well. So um, culture is a big deal uh, for us, for sure. You've been steadily building this program up since your first year. There was a break last season, but how do you plan to – capitalize on the momentum that you were building prior to last season? Well, um, yeah, we're just going to do our best. We, we know this is a significant challenge. And, um, you know, and, and I think you can be a little bit afraid of it maybe, or, or you can just um, accept it and, and um, swing for the fence. And so that's what we're going to do. We are um, we're just grateful for the challenge and we're swinging for the fence. Janaja, where do you feel like this team is in terms of preparation for the season? Um, you know, we're a pretty young team, and this will be a few of girls playing uh, D1 basketball. Um, I think we're well on our way. We still have, you know, a couple of things to work on, but by the time season comes, we'll be ready to compete with, you know, these other big teams. What was your biggest factor in wanting to become a trailblazer? Um, well, I just wanted some change. I'm a California kid and I've lived in California my whole life. And my biggest thing was to um, get out of California. Um, and uh, Nicole Yazzie, assistant coach, she recruited me. And, you know, I just love the way that she was very open with me as well as uh, JD when I got the chance to talk to him. They were open, very real for me from the start. Um, and that's what really brought me here. And I knew that coming to this program, I'd get a lot of you know, um, love from, from the coaches and love from the players. And it's just very family oriented here. And I love it. Hannah, how have you bought in to coach Gustin's system and playing under him so far? No, I think, um, just trusting him and understanding that he has the confidence in every single one of us and whatever role that each one of us has, um, he has the confidence that we can accomplish that. And I think, you know, that, that's a really big part of understanding and believing and buying into what he's trying to do here. And so, yeah. 
Anna, both your parents were collegiate athletes. How have they helped you as you've grown as a student athlete? Yeah, definitely. No, I think they've taught me, you know, that the hard work that it really takes, you know, especially to play at this level, that it's not easy. And um, I've had to overcome a, a huge challenge of um, breaking my arm and having surgery. And now I'm a bionic woman, but I've learned that, you know, a challenge is you can definitely get over it if you work hard and um, if you have a, a coaching staff that believes in you. How much has that adversity breaking your arm, going through that injury built you as a player to who you are today? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's changed my mindset on a lot of things. I kind of coming out of high school, a lot of things were really easy for me and I didn't really ever see a huge challenge. And so when that happened, it definitely, you know, took me for a toll and I learned a ton of new life lessons and, you know, learned that patience is, is very important. And um, yeah. Shanaja, what do you believe it's going to take for this young team to come in and make a splash in the WAC? Confidence, a lot of confidence and playing aggressive. That's all it comes down to and not being afraid. Coach, how do you get this team to play with such high confidence and play not afraid of the great teams that this league has? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think you have to uh, have confidence yourself. Uh, we, we have a really um, a wonderful coaching staff that is confident that um, that have been at this level a little bit. Um, and then we're just going to, we're going to address it. We're going to talk about it. And, and we're just, we're not going to let our kids be fearful. We have nothing. To, we just, we're grateful to play and uh, can't wait to do so. No matter who we're playing, um, we're going to be excited and, and uh, well-prepared and um, we're going to be confident. And coach, do you feel like this team can pick up where they last left off? How important is actually getting that game experience? Yeah, that's the most, that's a great question. That's the most important thing that we, that we have to, we're a talented group. I, I think we're going to put our kids in, in, in good situations. Our thing is simply not doing it before. And that's a really big deal. So we're going to get some, some games under our belt and, and, and get some of that experience. And then hopefully we're playing some good hoops um, by the end of the year. Well, Coach, Shanaja, Hannah, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck the rest of the season. I'm going to hand it over to Michael, who's going to let the rest of the media ask you all some questions. Thanks again. It's great Thank meeting you all. You. Thank you.